Hello there, and it's a very exciting moment for me again because it's the second script peak from my EastEnders fiction, Black Widow, in two days. So it's really exciting. Um, episode one, Black Widow, and of course that's the name of my EastEnders fiction. Episode two is titled, Nothing Important Happened Today, Mr. Carter. So you can imagine Mick's going to be in this one. So after three, three, two, one, let's do this. So Mick walks into Warford Police Station and demands to see someone in charge of CID. He's witnessed a shooting from the bit I read you yesterday. He's shaking up. His sister Tina was a shot. She's in hospital. Um, Nancy and Lee were both killed in the incident. And most important of all, Linda vanished. He doesn't know where Linda is, and of course his mum. His mum is in hospital. She was injured as well. So, Shirley of course. So, we're there. He bursts into the police station, and then it's boom. I'm ready to read you what he says. You ready? Oi! Why aren't you doing nothing about what happened last night? Did something happen last night, Mr Carter? Yes, use your nuts. You know what happened last night. Two crime gangs were firing at each other and a lot of my neighbours and my friends were killed. And my son and my daughter were killed as well. What are you doing about it, copper? Mr Carter, nothing important happened yesterday. What do you mean? Mr Carter, shall I give you some advice? You either leave Walford or you stand up and you fight the oncoming crime war. So you're going to do nothing? Are you being paid off or sank? Paid off? Do you think you're in some kind of gangster movie, Mr Carter? I'm not being paid off. If I do anything about what happened last night... I will be killed, and my family will be killed, and people that I work with will be killed. You don't understand what's happening in Walford, do you, Mr. Carter? What do you mean? What I mean is things have changed. The police and the council and the government have got no remit in Walford anymore. The crime gangs run by Chrissy Watts and Aaron Wilmot Brown are running Walford now. There's nothing that could be done about that. Their war with each other will carry on. And more people will be killed. They're running the area now, Mr Carter. So if I were you, I'd get what's remaining of your family. And leave. I can't do that, officer. I can't. My sister... And my mum are in Wolford General. I can't just leave the area. Then you're going to have to stand up and fight for your manor. Is that how you call it? But don't come to the police. Because we can't help you, Mr Carter. You're useless. You should be ashamed of yourself. You remind me of your dad, you know, Mr Carter. He had a lot of fire in his belly. What, well, Buster? Buster's a coward. <laughs> Buster's not your father, Mick. Of course he's my dad. What are you talking about? A very colourful lie told to you by Shirley to protect you from the truth. You better start talking, copper, or you're going to get something. Your nut is going to be cracked. Oh, Mr Carter, I'm not afraid of you. No one is. But Buster isn't your father. If that's true, then who is? Dennis Watts is your father. That ain't possible. It's very possible. He's your father. I want to know details. I want proof. You better hope your mum survives. Then she can tell you everything. How do you know this? 
because your dad, Dennis Watts, was holding you in your arms. Correction, holding me, holding you in your arms. When you were two years old, begging me to take you to an orphanage because he couldn't take care of you and his wife could never know about you. That's how I know. I don't believe you. Believe what you want. It's time for you to leave. And don't ever mention my name to Chrissy Watts or to Aaron Wilmot Brown. You're on your own, Mr. Carter. And that, my friends, is it. That's a bit of it. It wasn't brilliant. I didn't do the dialogue great, but you get the idea. So that's a little snippet. And I think I might be doing these at least once a week or maybe every day. It depends what poles of wisdom I get in my head. Hope you enjoyed it. There'll be more. See you later. Bye now.